in this video will be taking a look at a program called Sakenia uh, Sakenia Personal Software Inspector it's a free program you can get from this website uh, free to download I sound a bit bunged up because I've got flu but um, I want to show you a video on this I've been wanting to do this video for a while and uh, there's a guy called Ticker on the forum that's actually made a little uh, post there about this program so I wanted to make a little video on it it's a really cool little application it's free to use a uh, download it's only a small little download about 700 and K KB something like that and as you can see basically what it does is it uh, detects vulnerabilities out-of-date programs um, patches that need to be done for plugins and stuff like that on your system and it prevents uh, attacks uh, by uh, malware and stuff like that so by actually patching the software on the system it will patch uh, not just the software but the operating system as well it patches all that and finds what stuff's out of date and what needs to be updated so let's download it uh, from here click on there and then you can download it okay so uh, I'm going to go to the uh, virtual box here that we've got set up and just install the program it's very easy to install so if you can't understand me very good because I've got flu as I said it's man flu it's the worst kind of flu known to man <laughs> so anyway let's just quickly install this so we're going to open this up now as you can see it's got to connect to the internet which is ok and as you can see that's quick that was done a, it's done a scan already perhaps it's remembered the last scan I've done so it's saying two programs are insecure um, end of life and expose uh, your, uh, your security threats to secure your PC follow the advice given in insecure and end of life tabs now these are the red ones up here as you can see when they go red that means it's related to this bit of red text it's pretty simple really and as you can see you've got the blue tabs here okay now this is in at the moment in advanced mode you can actually look at in simple mode if you want it to which is like this okay so we'll start a scan let's just quickly do a scan and that's basically that that scan was quick so what we're going to do now is go into advanced mode click OK and OK so we're back to where we was so these little tabs up here this is where we need to click on so it's asked us to go into into this tab and there you can see a program I've just clicked on that little plus sign there and that gives us the name of the program or the, the software that needs to be updated okay so Microsoft data access components and as you can see there it tells you the threat and what you can do is this is the installation path of that file which is what it's talking about and uh, gives you a bit of information here okay that you can read up on and basically if you want to fix it it says at the bottom here fix it so all you need to do is click on the download solution button below which is here so you just need to click on that and that will download the solution for that problem okay and then it says uh, select accept and run the uh, proposed update and then also you've got number three follow the guidelines as provided by your vendor after pressing run now I'm going to click on that just to show you I'm not going to go through the process but that's the actual uh, page it's took us to okay but the, basically we just have to start now okay and I'm not going to bother so that's that part let's have a look at the end of uh, life here so we've got a uh, Mecha Reader Flash uh, Player 6 that's out of date so it probably wants to update that as you can see again there's the installation path gives you that and then just read up all about it here there is no fix it here so what we'll do is uh, have a little look a little bit further along patched these are the programs it's patched okay it's patched uh, C Cleaner and also uh, Malwarebytes uh, uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer okay now that's out of date so you'd want to update that I should imagine okay 
so you can just see there it's just going through as you can see it's red at the end there can you see that the red uh, red bar right at the end that means it's really a, it's out of date we know that it's out of date because it's only six uh, this version 8 out there so we can actually update that so let's have a look it tells you about it here if you look at secure browsing you come to here and read all about it, it tells you about about the Explorer so you just need to read about it there as you can see at least two attacks attack vectors exist when using this browser see critically rating below and then you just read this and this is what it's saying it's these parts here so no solution okay but you would just update that browser I should imagine that would be the best solution there okay so let's have a little look at the scan this is the scan start scan it's this is where you do all your bits and pieces here okay and also settings you want to make sure these two ticks are in okay and also enable program monitoring that's what you want to do as well make sure you got that ticked okay in advanced and what that does basically is monitors any new program installations and removals okay and let's have a little look at the next bit profile this is where you set your profile page up pretty much self-explanatory really as you can see it did say unregistered at the very beginning right there it says unregistered okay so I hope you enjoyed this video it's a really good piece of software to use um, download it give it a try let us know you get on head over to the forums and uh, there's plenty of stuff over there if you want to know where the forums are this is where the forum is as you can see just get yourself on here it's free to register and there's some uh, good tutorials on here and there's loads of nice people on here that are trying to help people fix their problems Okay, it's uh, brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum and that will take you to this website here. Okay, so thanks for your support guys. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Bye for now.